Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with what I hope ends up being a very simple tote bag project, a crocheted tote bag. If you are an experienced crocheter, you can just follow along and you can pretty much customize this bag to whatever you would like. Use whatever stitch you like, make it whatever size you like, do the strap any way you like, use whatever colors you like. But if you're a beginner crocheter, then you might want to just follow along and it's going to be about as basic as it gets, probably a little bit boring. <laughs> But I just want to do something basic for you, and that's what we're going to do. We are going to be using the equivalent of Red Heart yarn, just any four-ply acrylic yarn that you can get at Walmart. I happen to be using a size 10.5 or K hook. You can use whatever size you want. This is a project where you can use a smaller hook if you want. You don't care if it's stiff. I mean, it's a tote bag, so, you know, actually the tighter the the crochet the better so if you are someone who is usually a very loose crocheter you might want to drop down a size in hook we are going to be working in the round I think that you will like that especially if you've never done that before and we're going to be doing multiple colors if you want you won't have to change colors I'm going to be using just two colors you can use as many colors as you like as we go along, I will let you know like where you could make changes to customize this bag to something that you would like. The first thing that you can decide on is how wide you want your bag. I'm going to start by chaining 30 and then I'm going to see if I you know, think that's a good width. If you need help with a chain and all that stuff, I do have a very basic video that I will link to down below that you can watch. Other than that, I think this is a good beginner project. So I'm just going to chain, actually I'm going to chain 31 so I can work 30 half double crochets. This looks like it will end up making a bag that's anywhere from 10 to maybe 12 inches wide depending on how tight or how loose I crochet and I'm going to go with that. It's a small tote but you are free to make yours bigger if you want. So so just remember, the length of your chain is the width of the tote bag. Now we're going to do half double crochet. Get over here. And I like to work in the first available chain. So for half double, you yarn over, go in, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, go in, pull through, yarn over, go through all three. I'm going to do that all the way down. At the end, you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to do two more rows like that. So you want three rows of half double crochet. So I will get to that point and then I will come back. Just remember to chain one at the end of each row. And I did want to mention that because it's a tote bag, we want this to be, you know, a good, strong, sturdy bag. So when I crochet, I am going under the complete V, not just the back loop or the front loop, but both loops. And you are free to use any stitch you like. It doesn't have to be half double crochet. It could be single crochet. You just want it to be something that's not real lacy. I don't think like double crochet would work. It would have a lot of space in between. But if you have like a shell stitch that you like, as long as it's a nice, you know, close stitch, a nice tight stitch, you can do any stitch you want. Okay, so here's my last one on this row. I've done my three rows. You're going to end up with the tail at the same end. Now what we're going to do is we are going to work three stitches somewhere in here. You're going to leave that corner free. So you want three stitches and then the corner. You can do those three stitches pretty much anywhere you want. I can see that there's a space here for me right there and then like right there and then right there. So I'm going to do half double crochet. I'm not going to add for the corner because we want the bag to roll up. We're going to be working in the round. So I'm going to do one half double crochet there. I'm going to do one half double crochet in here. 
and I'm going to do one half double crochet in here. Now I could go here in this big hole, but I don't want to leave a big space, so I'm going to just put my hook there and work it right there. Now I'm going to go into the corner and I'm going to work all the way down the other side. Half double crochets all the way down. So let me work this and then I'll meet you back at this end. Now I'm getting near the end and this is where my corner would be. Oops, got a yarn over first. Now I'm going to work three half double crochets on this end. So I'm going to stick one there, one there, one there. Let's stick it right, uh, right there. There's no like real right or wrong here. Now all we're going to do is continue working in the round. Uh, looks like this is my first stitch right there. So I'm going to do a half double crochet in there. There's no chain one, there's no turning, we're just going to keep going around and around and around. And we want this edge to curl up, that's what's going to create the base of your bag. Pretty cool, huh? And now there's not going to be a point where you're going to, you know, come to a stitch and say, oh, was that my beginning stitch? No, there's no more of that. We're just working in the round. When we change colors, we're going to want to do that on an edge. And I'll show you that when we get to it. But for now, you're just going to keep working in the round. And, oh, I'll probably work for another inch or so. And then I'll come back and we'll change colors. Just remember, watch all this video before you start this project. Because we never know how it's going to turn out. <laughs> I am coming up to an edge soon and I'm going to be changing colors so I want to show you that but I also want to mention that as you work your you know bag is going to become like a little basket the side you're looking at when you're crocheting is the right side or let's say the outer side unless you like the other side better doesn't matter I tend to like to keep my work this way. For some reason, it feels more comfortable for me to be working with the right side, like on the inside of the bag. But you don't have to work that way. You can flip it and work this way with the right side of the bag on the outside, like it's going to be when you use it. So there's no right or wrong, it's just what feels more comfortable to you, and it feels more comfortable for me to just work this way, especially when working around the, um, the corners, we'll call it. So you just do it either way. Now I'm going to get myself to here, and I'm going to change yarn, and I will show you. As I get closer, I'm just, you know, kind of like laying this flat to get an idea of where the edge is. And it looks like maybe this um, stitch would be a good place to change the color. So I'm going to work one more double crochet. So what I'm doing is I'm going in, yarn over, pull through, but I'm going to pull through with my new color now. And I want to mention there are probably 50 or more ways to change color. <laughs> I am showing you just one way. It's the way I feel like doing it right now. I do it many different ways. This is the way I'm showing you tonight. Leave a, you know, decent little tail and you're just going to pull through with your new color. That's it. I'm not cutting this off because I'm going to just leave it and switch over every time I want to change color. So I'll show you what I mean when I get there. Now I'm just going to pick up my new color, if I can separate everything here, and I'm just going to continue with the new color now. And if that's loose at all, you can just pull that. I'm not even tying that right now, I'm just ignoring that for right now. And I'm just going to go around. And this is where I said, when you go around the, the bend, let's call it, to me, it's just easier if I'm working with my right side of the bag on the inside. 
So now I'm just still going around with half double crochet. And when I get back to here, I will show you. I probably will work two rows of the new color, but I'm still going to just show you what, you know, you do here. Absolutely nothing. You just keep going. But I'm going to show you anyway. All right, I'm going to stop and show you this in case you would like to change your color every round. You certainly can do that. You can see that I have one more green, the lighter green here. So I'm going to work a half double crochet in that one. And then I'm going to start my half double crochet in the next one. But this is where you would pull through with your next color. It could be a totally different color. Or in my case, if I were to do the light green again, I would just pull through with the light green. And then I would just continue on my merry way. doesn't matter if you do it in this one or this one, just in the general area. And they will look almost like steps because we're working in the round. But, but I'm going to do another row of the darker green. And then uh, I will come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm getting ready to change colors. Now you can see this is kind of going in this direction. So maybe this time I might want to change colors over here. What you can do is go ahead and change your color. And then look at the edge. If you don't like the way it looks, well, take it apart and then maybe, you know, start your change one stitch ahead or maybe start your change one stitch after. And uh, that's just the way you learn. You just got to, you know, try it, look at it. If you don't like it, you change it. So I'm going to go ahead and change my color in this next one. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, pull through. And now I'm going to just pick up my other color that is already here. That's why I said it's very easy when you're using just two colors. You don't have any loose ends to worry about. Sometimes your yarn will get tangled, your, you know, your two balls or two skeins of yarn. So you can just like swap them every now and then. It just works. So let me do a couple stitches and then we'll look and see if we like what I just did. I'm good with that. And again, this is going to be on the edge of the bag. So I'm just going to uh, do a few rows of the light green. And I'm actually going to uh, turn the camera off at this point. And let's look at this here. I have a lot of choices. I could do two of each color or I could maybe now do one row of the light green and then one row of the darker and then maybe three rows. I mean, I can just alternate. I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to do that. And then when you see me next time, I will have pretty much, you know, the bag as tall as I want it. And I'm just going to do color changes as I feel like doing them. And you can do the same. And you can introduce other colors. You would just do it like I did the very first time. You would just leave a tail and pull your new color through, just like I showed you. So I'm going to stop here for right now. Next time you see me actually might be tomorrow. Don't go away. This is what I have so far. Now, I did want to show you the bottom. Even though we made a little bit of a flat bottom, I mean, obviously, it's not going to you know, hold that boxed shape. It's yarn. You could always put, you know, something in there, a strip of plastic or something if you wanted it to stay open. But it does still give it more of a rounded look. And by doing it the way we did, we didn't have to sew anything together because we worked in the round. So mine ended up about uh, 11 inches wide and I'm about 10 and a half inches this way. I'm about to stop, so I'm going to show you what I will do next. You can stop like this and leave your top like this, but I'm going to go one row in the other direction to make just a tiny little edge, just a very simple one. So I'm going to put my camera on the tripod and I will show you that. I am coming up to the side where I changed my colors, and I did want to show you that you know, it's not the neatest way to change colors when you're working in the round, because if you always connect to where you left off. You're going to end up with steps that are going to end up being like on the front or back of your project. So you just have to kind of stagger them. Like I said, you can change colors and look at the side and say, okay, that looks pretty good. 
what I kept doing is just, you know, folding it and saying, are my color changes showing? And, you know, they do show a little bit on this side, but, you know, there's really no way you can get around that when you're working in the round. Well, there probably are 50, hundred ways. <laughs> I'm not going to get into trying to figure it all out. So that's just the way I do it. You can do it whatever way you want. If you don't like the messy color changes, you can just do all one color, or you could just change colors anywhere throughout the bag and make it scrappy. So let's go make my little tiny edge that I decided I want to make. I'm going to make my edge with the color that I'm ending on, and I'm ending on this darker green. I can now cut this off, because I'm done with that guy for now. And also, let me show you inside. So you can see we have just this. I never cut when I did color changes, so that's all good. And then down here, we have just the initial darker green when we added that. And then we still have this guy from just when we started the project. So here is what I've decided to do. And again, you can finish this any way you want, and you don't even have to finish it. You can just uh, do your last half double crochet and, you know, just cut, tie a knot, and you're done. But what I'm going to do is... I'm going to say that was my last half double crochet. Now I'm just going to do a slip stitch just to make that more level. I'm going to turn. I'm not doing any chaining. I'm not chaining one to turn. I'm just going to turn now. It's the first time I've turned in this whole project. These are the stitches we would normally go under to do our crocheting where the pointy part of the V is pointing to the left. But with half double crochet, we get this awesome other piece of yarn that we can go under. If you look here, we have V's that are pointing to the right. V's pointing to the left. V's pointing to the right. So we're going to do a slip stitch in every one of these loops. The bottom of the V that's pointing to the right. So I'm just going in and I'm pulling through both. I'm going in pulling through both, going in, pulling through both. Now this is one time where you can let your slip stitch get a little tight if you want. It'll just, uh, you know, keep the top of your bag from uh, stretching so much. And I'm just going to do that all the way around. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side first. Let me do one more here. It's just going to give a little edge like this with kind of a little raised chain. So let me finish and I'll show you what I do when I get to the very end. I'm coming back up to where I started, so I'm just going to do my slip stitch there. And I could do one more right here. Let's get under there. And then I'm just going to connect to, let's see, where am I? I'm just going to connect to that first slip stitch that I made. Get in there with a slip stitch going to cut, just pull through. And at this point, I am going to tie this off. This is on the inside of the bag now. Sometimes I like to split my yarn and then I just make a square knot. Make any knot you like. get over here and then I can weave that through and then this same with this guy and with the other two that are inside the bag so that's all you have to do is just whatever way you want to finish off and weave in your ends do that and now all we have to worry about is a strap but this is what our little edge looks like so again it was just a way to you know make it a little thicker and to give it a little like chain going around so I like it Next thing is the strap. I am back and I think I finally figured out what I want to do for a strap. I want to keep it very simple and I played around with different straps where I made the strap first and then was going to put it on after. But I'm just going to start on one end and make a strap as long as I want and we're going to finish here. You can do the same, but you can do two straps or handles this way if you want. You would just attach 
and start like wherever you want here, work the length you want and finish here. So I'm going to do it though on the two sides. And what I'm going to do is I think I want the strap about uh, five or six um, stitches. I can't even think wide. Okay, we got it. So let's see. I'm just folding this and I want to kind of get like a halfway point. So let's open this up. One, two, three, four. I see four there, five, six. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to start here. I'm just going to put my hook there so I don't forget where I want to start. So I want like half the strap on each side of the center. I'm going with the lighter green. I was going to do the darker green to match my top of the bag, but this is uh, easier for you to see, and it's also easier for me to see, especially if I'm crocheting in the evening when I don't have the best lighting. Let me get my yarn to the left side of me, and I'm just going to, um, let's see, what did I do? The video might have skipped. It's hard to do these videos because if I start saying something and then I change my mind, I don't remember where I left off. But this is how I want to start it. I was starting it a different way and I changed my mind. So I'm going to stick my hook in that chain that I decided I wanted to start at. I'm going to pull through. I'm going to just chain one right there. But now I want to work a half double crochet in that stitch. So I'm going to do my half double crochet and I'm going to do five more of those because I decided I want six. And I'm just going around the whole thickness of this little edge that I made. So there's three, four, five, six. You can make the strap as wide as you want, but I think six is going to look pretty good. So I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm just going to do half double crochet all the way across, and that's all I'm going to do. And I am working under both loops of the V, and I'm, you know, doing that under the V that's pointing to the left, the usual stitches, not these guys that we like to use sometimes, but this right here on the top. And I'm just going to always chain one and turn. And I'm just going to continue that until my strap is long enough, and then we're going to somehow magically attach it to this end. So I'll come back when I'm ready to do that. I am back. We are about to attach the strap to the other side. I don't really know how long mine is. It's not overly long, but I stopped because I was running out of yarn in that color. So instead of attaching another yarn, I took it as a sign to end. So what we're going to do now is, whoops. So what we're going to do now is we need to attach it to six stitches on this end. I just opened up a paper clip to use as a marker so I can mark where I want to start. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. This looks like a good place because I want it kind of centered. So I'm going to start here. Is that the one that I said? That looks good enough for me. So I'm just going to mark that. When we're crocheting, we could go here on the inside of the bag and stitch that. But if you do it that way, especially when you have a different color, it's going to show this light green, it's going to make a line here. So what I want to do is I'm going to do it on this side. So let me see if I can show that to you in a better way without losing all my stitches here. This is the bag. This is the strap that we attached here. And now we want to attach it to this end. But instead of attaching it from the inside, we're going to attach it from the outside this way. We're going to fold it over this way. It's like putting right sides together. Now we have our nice marker. Let's get this all up and out of the way. We are going to stick our hook in the first um, V. I'm ignoring the loop for right now. 
and I'm going to go under where I marked. Let me get this out of there now. And I'm going to grab the loop, whoops, and pull the loop through. Now, if you ended on a row that left your yarn on this side, just take out a row or add a row. You just want to end on this side. So you don't have to do any more yarn cutting and tying. And now I'm just going to crochet with single crochet to attach the strap to this side. Just know I have six stitches, so I'm going to do six, four, five, and six. Of course, you can do this any way you want. There's no one way to do anything. And I'm just going to do that, and let's look at it before we commit to cutting. Look at that. Nice and neat. So cool. At this point, I can cut and pull through, and we are done. So I said this was going to be a very simple bag. I will take some pictures of it, but I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you're a brand new crocheter, I hope it helped you in some way. And please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. I'll be back with more soon. Bye.